Hi everyone, another quick update on the custom physic vehicle. Uh, first of all, some people have uh, had some complaints about the suspension not having any damping. And I found uh, why that was. And so you can now control the damping with the float value inside the setup right here. Okay, so basically what this is going to do is it's going to reduce the velocity of the suspension. Uh, so if you set this to zero, it'll be really bouncy like a, a block of jello. And if you set it to something like 20, it'll be much more stable. So for example, now it is at 20 and you can see it's not much bouncy. I'll set it to zero just to show you what I mean. See now it is really really way too bouncy and it just never ends. It's like it's like a boat on waves. And of course if you set it to a super high value, it'll be just rock solid. Boom, no suspension at all. So in order to get the perfect suspension, you're gonna have to tweak both of these values. The suspension force and damping. So the force is basically going to uh, allow the suspension to move more while the damping is going to allow it to move uh, faster. So that was it for the suspension. Uh, the next thing some people pointed out was the lack of control over the speed of the vehicle in each gear. So what I did was I created a float curve for every gear to allow to allow you basically to choose the top speed of every gear and how fast it gets there. So if I just open this one for example, you'll see at 500 RPM, which is the idle RPM, we add no angular velocity to the wheels and then it tops out at 6450 which is on the fourth gear I believe 115 km per hour and we could smoothen that curve or make it a reverse curve to control how fast it'll get to that top speed and so like that you can control the maximum speed of every gear and how fast it gets there I've also added a acceleration factor I actually I made this an array so you can control how fast the RPM is going to raise onto every gear so that it accelerates slower on higher gears and I've made the deceleration factor a separate value so that when you stop giving gas to the vehicle and the RPM lowers and it can lower at a different speed than the speed it increase at so that was it and I also added some tooltips to all of the value to help get uh, an idea of what the value does. Uh, the next thing I did was to do a little bit of cleanup in the component list over there. I've renamed quite a bit of a bit of stuff, and I've added the constraint attached to the, the body that they constrain actually. So you have uh, let's say a static mesh for the suspension then you have a constraint for that suspension attached to it so the list is a lot shorter and the names are a little bit easier to uh, know what they are in this list when you want to use them inside the blueprint. So you know you got the front wheel and you have the constraint that attach the front wheel. That would be actually front wheel. Huh, I didn't name this one probably. Front left wheel. Oh, yeah, I didn't rename this one. Anyway. And uh, I think that was everything. 
So yeah, a bit of tweaking to the acceleration, uh, more control over the speed of the vehicle on each gear, better suspension. Uh, there was a few of the, the complaints I've read in the comments, and so that that is pretty much fixed. So you can see the RPM raises pretty fast on the lower gear and as you go up the gears it is much slower and the speed tops at different values. <coughs> And the suspension is a little bit better. You can see because of the damping, uh, I've got the, the vehicle raising when accelerating properly without going crazy from side to side when I'm turning. Thanks to the damping, so that looks a lot better from the inside. And the steering wheel also looks pretty good from the inside, actually. So, yeah, was pretty much it for this little update. Uh, there again, download link is going to be on the, the forum. I'll, pu I'll post the link again in the description. That's it. So thanks for watching and have a good day.